In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called polynomial long division, problem type one. We're asked to divide these two polynomials and answer with both the quotient and the remainder. And from the title, we can see that we're doing long division. So I'll start by setting up long division with the divisor outside and the dividend inside. And I'll start by noticing that for both the divisor and the dividend, we have every degree after the highest degree represented. So for example, for the divisor, my highest degree is one, and my constant here, three, would be an x to the zero power. For the dividend, the highest degree is two. I have a degree one and a degree zero. So this is telling me that I wouldn't need to add any additional placeholders. And to start, I would look at the leading term for each, the dividend and the divisor. I would set those up as division, 10x squared, divided by the 2x on the outside. And this would simplify, 10 divided by 2 is 5. The x2 divided by x1 would simplify to x to the 2 minus 1, or x to the 1. So our 5x, I'll align above the x term. And then from here, I would multiply. 5x times 2x gives me a 10x squared. 5x times 3 gives me a 15x. And then I would subtract, just as in regular long division. And since I'm subtracting, I'm going to change each of these signs on the terms and then add. And by design here, our first term should cancel. For the second term, I have 29 minus a 15, both of those x's. So 29x minus 15x is 14x. And from here, I could bring down the next term. And again, I would look at the leading terms, set those up as division. We have a 14x divided by a 2x. And here, the x's will cancel. And 14 divided by 2 is just 7. So my next term in the quotient is a 7. And again, I would multiply by that term. 7 times 2x, 14x. 7 times 3, a 21. And from here again, we would subtract. And subtracting, I will change both of these signs and add. And here again, by design, the first terms cancel. 24 plus a negative 21 is 3. So my quotient would be 5x plus 7, and my remainder is 3.